Three centuries ago in the country of Siam, which is now called Thailand, there was a monastery. And in this monastery, the monks had a possession that, would, that they prized far more than anything else that they had in their possession. It was a statue of Buddha. And it was not just any statue, it was a pure gold statue of, B of Buddha that was over 10 feet tall and weighed more than two and a half tons. There literally was nothing of more spiritual value or monetary value to these monks than anything else they possessed. The monks at this monastery uh, caught wind that the Burmese government was planning an attack on their country. And so in order to protect this prized possession that they had, their most valued possession, they layered this golden statue with layers and layers of clay, about eight inches of clay in fact. So that when the Burmese soldiers came, they would pass by this clay statue of Buddha, thinking that it was worthless. Well, the Burmese soldiers came, and the monks' plan succeeded. However, every single one of the monks was slaughtered, and the secret of the Golden Buddha died with them. Well, about three centuries later, in about 1950, the monastery was going to be relocated, and so the monks hired a crane to come and hoist this massive clay Buddha so that it could be moved. Well, upon lifting up this clay Buddha, it began to crack, and it was much heavier than they had ever anticipated. So they quickly placed it back down and went in search of some better equipment. Well, meanwhile, it started to rain. And so the monks lovingly placed blankets and tarps over the top of this clay Buddha in order to protect it. During the night, the head monk went outside with his flashlight and lifted up one of the flaps of the tarps or the, and the blankets and shined his light underneath to make sure that their precious clay Buddha was okay. Well, when, his, when the light of his flashlight entered underneath the tarp, it caught a glimmer of something deep within the crevice of one of the cracks that had formed in the clay Buddha. And upon further inspection, discovered that it was pure gold. They removed the clay from the statue and discovered the seeker that had been lying being right under their noses for centuries. It was a precious, massive, pure gold statue of their Buddha. Now, each one of us is layered and layered with layers of guilt and shame and bad habits and self-loathing and poor programming um, that we have received all throughout our life because we have not had any other way to remove it. And many times we place these layers on top of us, we feel, to protect us, just like the monks layered their golden Buddha with layers of clay to protect it. Well, we have done the same thing. Now. It's so important because what happens, what happens that when, when we layer ourselves, our true self, with all these layers of guilt and shame about habits and, and negative emotions, what happens is we lose sight of ourselves and the power that we have as individuals to create our life. It's important that we learn to remove these layers that we have created on top of our, our precious golden self. How do we do that? How do we remove these layers? Let me share with you a secret. It starts with changing your language. How do you talk to yourself? And how do you view yourself? How do you talk about others? How do you talk to others about yourself? Because if we talk poorly about ourselves, our thoughts and our behaviors for and about ourselves are also going to be poor. We'll have resulting bad habits as well. If our habits are poor, then of course our results are going to be poor. It is just as easy to create the awful as it is to create the awesome. And it all starts with language. So we want to slough off those layers of clay that we have formed on top of ourselves and reveal the golden self that we have underneath that is powerful, that is pure, that is ready to just take this world on? Is that what we want? Is that what we desire? Well, my friends, it starts with changing our language. Using Powtoon.